this was a do-it-yourself motivation. Are you familiar with the yeah. propane tank? We were collecting them, completely building and making them into little wood stoves. The, the plastic would be hanging down, and we'd have that little wood stove with little pieces of wood, so people could walk it in the winter time by pushing through the plastic, and all of a sudden it's warm. And so yeah, that little wood stove. We were trying to always show people how you can take and recycle. Remember, the world, the world we're living in is garbage, garbage, garbage. And I'm saying, no, you can make it into something else. 75 or 76, we had major problems in government. You had the oil going up, 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 and up, and tens of thousands of people were losing their jobs. On this street, on the corner, everywhere you went, boarded up. Then my wife told me she was mugged at the very gate you just came through. That was the beginning of this house becoming empty. House empty in 1979, the heat turned off, pipes froze, broke, and the place was flooded. And eventually somebody said, why don't we take the building and make it into an environmental center? Well, with 130 corporations involved, this place was every weekend, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, jumping. And we exploited the word Sunday as the sun house. That was the first article that came out, solar energy in Flatbush. We're talking about getting attorneys to bring litigation, but I don't know how to get them. This portrait, there's the portrait being taken of, of Johnson. There's the umbrella, and there's Johnson sitting. Oh. Lyndon Johnson. Yeah, and here he is in his uh, East Room with the TV newscasts. And there's me when I was young. So you got a good comparison. When you're young, you're good looking all the time. And that's the food cooker that was at the United Nations. They weren't manufacturing equipment in the beginning. It was people like us that were designing and building the equipment. We formed a co-op so that as a group of people in a cooperative, we were making equipment for each other. In other words, we were all working for one another, putting them on our buildings, making the energy, my mother's home, an $1,800 bill. In three years, I dropped to $700. Take your clothes off in the winter time and put a plastic bag around you so the wind can't hit your body and you can freeze you and, you, and you'll be hot in the winter time. Are these those geodomes? Yeah, those are the geodesics. I told you I taught, taught the course and so had all the models. Rainwater for washing my hands, flushing the toilet, washing clothes. He was a black Life magazine photographer that they sent to the Watts riots in Los Angeles. The man's name was Gordon Parks. Gordon Parks was a client. This was the radio control equipment that was made for him so that the Watts riots, he didn't have to be in it to get the pictures. He just tied cameras in certain places and there by remote he could trigger them. But there's the damn equipment. So there, there I am at the age I am. Is that Sammy Davis Jr.? Yeah. He had my silver reflectors and in turn sent me a photograph, one of the publicity pictures. In 1990, they're now going to put a meter in. We already have loads and loads of newspaper stories and publicity. And I say to the inspector, there's no meter here, but come inside. Now, mind you, I'm talking about letter after letter they've been getting. Certified letters, FOIL, Freedom of Information Law, because they're billing me. And I'm saying, what are you billing me? Guess what they're billing you? You know, drop that. 250 gallons of water a day. And then they end up in the bill giving the serial number of a meter. After the man came and looked and said, where's your meter reading device? I said, there is none. Two weeks later, we're talking about now 2001, I had a $17,800 bill. That $17,800 bill 
ended up becoming $27,000 in 2005. Now the man saw there was no meter downstairs. Remember I told you? You know what I ended up getting within two weeks after he was here? Accused of stealing New York City property. So they hit me with a lien on the property and they claim I didn't own the building. I went to my assemblyman, but the response came from the commissioner. And you know what it clearly stated? Your constituent, Mr. Johnson, is merely a relative and guest of the owner of record in our file. You know what that says? Right off the bat, I'm not entitled to any help. I'm not entitled to any deductions in my taxes or anything, because I don't even own the building. This is a water, t a water tank. I haven't installed it because I'm now I'm frightened. If I install it, the building's department's going to hit me for another friggin' bill and permit. We got the rainwater we collect, and this was the, the next approach. This was a beautiful looking place when you first when it first opened up as a solar center. It was neat. I like the way it is now. Well, it's messy now. And this is the work that went on in the East Room. This was the portraiture, and this was the master of the lighting system. This warm and stand is downstairs. So I've got the actual boom and stand that was at the White House. The house is going to be seized. And the man who got the lead is going to own that equipment. And if I don't get this out, they're going to seize this. Do you have any idea what the picture alone is worth? This was Flatbush Community Development, their newsletter. I had a column. So every month, the column would have another story. You follow what I'm trying to say? to the population, how to make their homes more energy efficient. And we have open house on Sundays, and you can come and see what we're doing with solar energy. So what is it all doing on, on the ceiling? I mean, it's insulating the ceiling, because it's made out of foam. The airspace traps the air. Again, more insulation. If it's insulating, it's not going out, this, up, out the attic, right? Does it ever get too hot in here? No, it's it's making this room cooler or warmer than the other room because so it's got the extra insulation. So it just keeps it temperate. Pardon me? It just keeps it temperate, neutral? No, I mean, all it's doing is it's an additive. Yeah. You're adding to the room something that's pretty that you created and it's acting as an insulation and a decorative device and it's just being creative. Got nothing to do with how much energy it saves. It's part of the, the concept of recycling. The complete ceiling covered with the mylar. Again, acting as a radiant energy reflector. And then the ceiling was dropped. There's one little portion left. It was dropped like three or four inches. And then the foam panels were laying here underneath the mile on. By the way, if you were at the Wall Street, here it is. This is for the people living down there. They're coming back. We're going to maybe make them. We're going to see if we can get them manufactured. It's a corrugated box. It folds it, the positions, you staple it, and this half is the opposite of the other half, and the two sections, you got your tent. That says nomadic space system that's the company that i ran in my lifetime i've had three companies this was the lighting equipment and out of this grew the solar food cooker on mount everest <laughs> right yeah it's a tremendous story the story after story after story. Right. When I'm dead, I'm going to be dead. But up to that point, it's sad to think this house is that going the to... crap is going down. Yeah. And I don't know how to stop it. Why has it gone from an area of 
appreciation and respect and, and, and thank yous to I, I own you, you owe me. Think about this, how a water bill became $34,000? Wouldn't you, within the first month not getting paid, write a letter and say, I haven't gotten paid. Can you give me a reason why? Right. And then when you don't get paid the second or third time, you go to the store and you say, excuse me, I don't owe this money. You probably are billing the wrong company or the wrong person. I want it straightened out. Do you think that I didn't do that? I went... I went to the, oh God, see people don't believe you. I went to the treasurer of the water company in Corona. The man was obviously prepped with all the data as to who, how we would, what we were doing. I mailed him everything with the letters and phone calls. And then he said, why don't you come out here? So I went out. We talked. He said, well, no problem. I want to join the other 130, 140 corporations which are sponsoring the work that you're doing with the solar energy at the Energy House, saving water, using the rain. And he had his head woman, the woman in charge of the billing department, and he said to her, can you do something on the computer so that they don't, it doesn't send out a bill? No problem, they, they, they tag it or something. So nothing gets mailed. I don't have a bill coming in, and then one day I've got a bill for $17,800. He said, you got your property taxes, you're gonna to have to pay that. He says, but your water bill, that's in my domain. I can take care of that.